Hello, and welcome to another episode of The Clever Clarinetist. I'm your host, Dr. Larkin Sanders. Today, we are unboxing and reviewing these Marca Professional Reads. Simply the best read ever. We shall see. We've got two different models of read. We have the Excel read, um, and I have t a box of 10 here. Um, it looks like the cane comes from VAR, which is the same place Diderio and Vendoran get their cane. Um, and I haven't seen them in person yet, but I assume this is more of a French cut read. These are all gonna be French cut, but these are probably gonna be the more Americanized reads uh, because one of the founders of the shop contacted me directly to ask me what my uh, cane and reed preference is. So these are the premium reeds in the gray box. Um, and it looks like they, according to this little diagram, have kind of square cut tips and um, longer vamps with the shoulders of the reed. Oh, what's that word? It's filed. <laughs> these are filed. Um, these, this one doesn't have a diagram, but I'm excited to get started in the premium. I've got three plus and three and a half, and in the Excel I have three and a half. Um, I play usually a D'Addario Reserve Classic three and a half, so that will be kind of our control comparison today with my D'Addario um, Evolution mouthpiece. So let's dig in and get started. Okay, so here's our control. Uh, the D'Addario Reserve Classic 3.5 reed. It's just freshly broken in, so I've been working on it for about two weeks. Um, and I've already tested this reed. I think it sounds pretty good, but I'm going to play a an articulated F major scale, a slurred F major scale, and um, an excerpt from Brahms, which is my favorite thing to use for trials. <laughs> soft and bright side but overall I like it I would use it for a performance um, if I had one in the near future uh, COVID all right I'm gonna open up this box of excels and let's see how they compare so I finally got the plastic wrap off um, and I like it was supposed to have a tab to unwrap but it didn't quite catch so it took me a minute to get that plastic off now opening up the read box. Ooh, so different than usual. We're used to seeing maybe Van Doren and D'Addario whose reads come in the little plastic sleeves. And these are just in little cardboard or chipboard slips, I guess. Um, so hopefully the reads stayed pretty flat in, um, you know, storage since they've been shrink wrapped. And I'm gonna just take one of these at random and try it out compared to this D'Addario read. Um, but before I get going, <laughs> Uh -oh. The first three they pull out are a little janky. It's a little bit of a, a chip already in the reed, which is, is probably fine. It's probably just cosmetic because it's in the bark of the cane, but it's not necessarily something you want to see in the first reed you pull out. And this does look like probably a similar cut to this D'Addario Reserve Classic. It's got kind of the squared tip. Maybe it's a little rounder. No, they're squared. Squared tip and kind of a thicker blank. So let's see how it goes. Okay, I have fastened the reed onto my mouthpiece. Let's see how it toots. <laughs>
the sound was really nice. Um, but something I didn't like was that there was definitely an airy quality to it that probably didn't translate to the video. And so if it doesn't translate to the video, then it probably wouldn't translate to a concert hall situation either. Um, but I kind of like the comfort of having a really clear sound up front, up close to me and far away, just for my personal sanity. Um, let's try uh, three more of these and see how it goes. All right, Marka Excel Read number two. from the Excel box, the blue box, um, and I really like them all. They are all consistent. They sounded pretty much the same. They all have really nice chords to them. And I know the, with the first read, I was talking that it had like an, about that it had an airy, with the first read, I know I said that it had a little bit of an airy quality. Um, and they all kind of had that little bit of airy quality, but I think it would go away with breaking in the reads. These are fresh reads. And um, I don't know about you, for you, but for me, most brand new cane reeds have a little bit of an airy quality naturally. Um, so I'm gonna put this one down and I'm gonna open up one of these other boxes. All right, I was able to get into that box a little bit easier. Um, and it, these are the premium reeds. I'm gonna start with the three and a half reeds and then um, if those prove to be too hard, then I will go over to the three plus. So that just like the Excel reeds, they are held in um, these chipboard reed holders. I mean, honestly, these are probably fine because the the plastic slips that the Daddario and Van Doren reeds come in are not actually flat. If you are trying to store your reeds in those little slips and you expect them to stay flat and good, I'm sorry, it doesn't work that way. Um, at least get yourself one of those $4 Rico reed guards. Those are flatter than the little plastic slips that your reeds come in. Um, so let's give these a try. It looks like these uh, blanks are significantly thicker than the other Marka XL reads. So it's, they're gonna be a little bit thicker probably than the Reserve Classic. Yeah, it's substantially thicker. I can tell up close. I'll see if I can slide in a picture uh, later or a measurement if I can find my tool. Uh, so these are probably gonna be more like 
a ruler peak kind of thickness or a reserve evolution kind of thickness, except that unlike um, the reserve evolution or the ruler peak, these are filed. So which means that the shoulders of the reeds are kind of shaved off. Um, and some people might think, you might assume that a reed with a thicker blank means that the reed is going to be harder. It's going to feel more resistant. This is actually not the case. It's the opposite. So when the tip of the cane is cut farther away from the bark, it's cut into softer cane, which means actually that this reed surely will feel softer than the other reeds. So let's, let's give it a shot. <laughs> Oh boy. Okay, so <laughs> we'll see how it sounds. distracted by how hard this read is um so maybe i jumped the gun a little bit by saying that i bet this read's gonna be softer um it's so much harder so if you're the kind of person that really likes to customize your store-bought reads this might be a really good option for you because you would have a lot of room to make adjustments um i am not uh if i'm buying reads i expect them to be pretty good so yeah um i did not like this read I will try the next read, and if the next read is still just as hard, then I'm going to go ahead and move on to the three pluses of the premium Marca reads. All right, Marca premium three and a half, number two. <laughs> again this is a marca premium read number three and a half number three I'll try one more. All right, Marca, premium, three and a half, number four.
those first three like pretty hard reads, this read feels more like something out of the Excel box and more like my Daddario Reserve Classics, but it still has that gigantic blank. <laughs> but this is more of what I was expecting from a blank this thick. However, I'm a bit disappointed that it's I'm four reads in and I'm just now finding a read that I like out of this box and that there is such a like huge variety between something that was really hard and like distractingly difficult to play on and then this read which I actually kind of like although it's a little bit wild for my taste. Um, so maybe I'll come back to this box um, later but let's go ahead and move on to the three pluses. <laughs> so I'm a little annoyed because this plastic wrap was also hard to break open. I know they have that like scored wrap around but it wasn't done very well and I managed to break both of my thumbnails trying to open it. Um, but that seems like an easy enough manufacturing fix. So let's see how these three pluses go. I'll do four of these just like I have with the other boxes. All right. Marka Premium 3 Plus, number better though between the three pluses and the three and a half so far but I'm only one read in so let's keep going okay Marka premium three plus number two the first one um so at least these are a little bit more consistent so far two for two feeling pretty much the same and I like the sound um but I think it's a little bit more spread so far than both of my Diderio Reserve Classic and the XL reads so let's keep going all right XL Premium three plus <laughs> number three okay i'm just gonna stop this read basically doesn't work um and that's a super bummer uh so i'm just gonna move on to the next one all right marka premium three plus number four
right? So this read was more like the first two, and then there was just that wacky dud in the middle. Um, again, I the sound is nice, but it's not as focused as what I'm used to using, used to getting from my Reserve Classics by Daddario, um, or from these Marca Excel reads. I think they were probably my favorite out of all three different boxes that I tried today. Um, they felt exactly like my Daddario Reserve Classics. Um, they're grown in VAR in France and they're also manufactured in France, so totally French read. Um, if you're a Francophile, these might be the reads for you. Um, other than that, I don't really know a ton about the reads. Um, I may consider carrying them in the future at a clever clarinetist shop. If you're interested in trying them, please let me know. I'd love to help you out. Um, you can find my contact information in the description below. Um, let's talk. Let's nerd out. We'll figure it out together. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. <laughs>